we have enough belts, everybody can technically be a champion. Just like, just ask the Alliance. Yes, uh, that was uh, pretty failed. So, Fitz Pasta, the Kivo champion. H3, the recently crowned Campion Porindia. Which is now the top belt in the company. Yes. They're going to square off in a one on one matchup. H3 being accompanied by a very drunk Lemmy. Very drunk. Yes, where's live music? We had to cut it for the stage. That's true, yeah. That stage isn't that big. Miss Pasta, H3, coming up. More vehicles getting down to the ring. Oh, can't have enough wheels. I wish they'd bring back those little wrestling chariots from the early, very large wrestling events. Those were quite popular. And now Fist was... Pasta has to run a 5K just to get down to the fucking ring. Well, he'll certainly be in shape. His hair will still never move. Him and Chuck Taylor hunting for grenades. I'm so fucked up right now. Time to make some snakes! Here's the entrance that defines this event. It is H3. Where's the bearskin outfit with the crown and the helmet and the Viking helmet? Yes, this is relatively tame for an entrance this large in grandeur. Needed more strobe lights. Needed definitely needed more strobe lights. Look at the uh, uh, spotlights on in the background of H3's entrance. <laughs> I'm impressed we were able to turn this many lights off at the same time. Usually it can only get about 40%. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It's harder than it looks. It requires like an engineering degree or something. It fucks up surprise entrances. Yeah, it does. So H3 and Fistbasta. Fistbasta trying to pull the upset. Keep pulling. Keep pulling is right. H3 with right hand, the cavalcade of right hands. He's gonna go Fist little Fist Guido on his ass. This boss is barely able to lift H3 up, but he does. Sandbag the rookie. H3 getting knocked down again. Except it was Fist Pasta. Self watch. H3 with the rest hold on Fist Pasta. Fist Pasta was in the pre show battle royal. Yeah, that's why he's not off to such a good start. H3 dominating this early portion. Fist Pasta writhing in pain. Posing for so pictures! He's so disoriented right now, he's losing his perspicacity. What?! <laughs> perspicacity, that's what the word What the fuck just came out of your mouth?! I'm gonna wash out your mouth with dicks! So, so of our new spots. A hand, a hand, so. 
Miss Pasta trying to mount some offense here as we uh, try to refocus. Ooh, wild miss there from Miss Pasta on the roll. Pasta's on a roll. Overcooked spaghetti at the DDT. And Miss Pasta is down and out. His hair still in one fine shape. That's the important part. I could use a squash right now. How about you? It is that time of year. It is, yes. But H3 going out to outside the ring this for no match reason. Is shit. Fish pasta making this light comeback. Only a slight comeback as. He gets wailed upon. A minuscule comeback. Minuscule is right. Do you know big words? H3 looking at his fallen opponent. He's been doing that the whole fucking match! That he has. We had to give a buffer between the two big matches. Yes, we had two big matches on this card. Now H3 is going to close this match out with the ultimate insult. He just insulted his cooking. One, yes. Two, three. This pasta is now on clearance. This match is over. New champion. H3 in a dominating effort. He's going to go back to Madison Square all of Garden. Is there like a 45 minute wait to get in? Ooh, H3, this, this isn't over. Open up the rookie. 